In 2009, my wife and I went to Bangkok for a wedding. It's a very big, busy city. Lots of beautiful culture and architecture. Then we made it to southern Thailand, to Krabi province. We went to Ao Tan Sai, or Tan Sai Beach, where you have all the big limestone cliffs, the karst as they call it. This is where they do the deep water soloing. Tansai Beach is a beautiful beach with party bars and lots of climbers overhead. I got to do what I always wanted to do, which was bouldering on a beach in Thailand. The rock itself has got lots of features on it, very sharp. Uh, it's a little bit greasy because of the humidity and coastal air. And this is a very easy bouldering traverse warm up. For the most part, it's easy to meet people if you need a spot uh, or if you need a little bit of beta. The people down there are very friendly. Everybody's in paradise, of course, so everybody's on their best behavior. and. You know, glad to give you the information they've gotten so far. Overhead, of course, people are doing things that are much harder than this. So this is what I call living it up in Altansai. Climbing over sand is very confidence inspiring. If you ever need to fall off the cliff, it's a pretty short fall onto some very soft cocoa sand. You can't make a move, you just fall right off. No crash pad required. We then packed our bags and we flew over to Hong Kong. After we got settled and acclimatized to the busyness of the city and the hordes and hordes of people, we decided it was time to walk across the island over to Sheko. Sheko is a beautiful fishing village. A lot of people do wedding photography there. It's got a rugged coastline with some old degenerating granite. Met some European expatriates that like to climb there in the evenings at this point. They show me some of their favorite climbs. They use work lights so they can climb after dark when it's cooler. The climbs are located 50 feet above the water on a steep slope, so a really bad fall could uh, end you up with a really bad evening. So crash pads are used and a lot of spotting. Truly one of the most beautiful places that I never thought I'd be bouldering. So I recommend getting down to Asia and doing some bouldering.